Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a look at version 2 Affinity Photo and beyond and how layers are moved around the place. So we're going to start off here and we're going to put in a new layer. We're going to use just a whole stack of recolors. If I go just to recolor it's going to put in this as a child but I'm going to delete that because I want it to go above. To go above, there's two ways of doing this. One is to, or well, you can, oh, well, three ways. You can go to the assistant here and change that, add adjustment as new layer there. Or I can go to select and deselect layers, which I've given a keystroke of Alt D to in the preferences. If I click on that, see that disappears. But I can click on that again, because if I've got the move tool selected, and I click outside the image, not on the image, then that selection disappears again. So now when I go to adjustments and put in the adjustment here, it appears above like this. I'm going to put in four adjustments here, just slightly different, just so we can show how they move around. So I'm going to call this one red, because it's red. And hit Control J to duplicate it, move that to blue, Call this blue, then hit Control J, call this green, and move this to green, and then hit Control J, and let's move that to magenta, and call that magenta. Now the, the control on top here is going to give you the actual final colour. So now then, what I can do with this is if I go to the red layer at the bottom here, if I go to control and right square bracket, you can see the red is moving up the stack. If I control and left square bracket, nothing's happening. We would have thought that might go down and it's because this is selected. I've reported this as a bug, so maybe one day it'll get fixed, but you have to close this. Then control and left square bracket moves it down and control and right square bracket moves it up. So you can move layers up and down using this method. You can also, if I hold control alt and go to the right square bracket, it goes to the bottom because it's rotating and, but there's no, it's not moving layers. And if I control alt and left square bracket, it goes down when it gets to the bottom, it goes round to the top again. So if you want to just move the focus, you can do that with the control alt and the left and right square bracket. Also, if you do control and shift and the left square bracket here, it's moved the green there right the way to the bottom. So if I then go up to say the red and control shift and left square bracket, it's moved it down to the bottom. Control shift and right square bracket moves it up to the top again. So I can move things up from the top and to the bottom with control shift and the left and right square bracket. So let's just move the rest of these just by dragging them. So I'm going to go red, drag down to green. When you drag things here, by the way, hold and drag, you can drag it any way down here, but you can see the blue bar there and I let go and it goes to blue. I can also do the same at the top. If I go beyond the top here and let go, it'll still, the blue will appear there. So it's a really easy to just drag and drop without being too worried about it and drag that magenta down there. So this, these are at the bottom. The reason I often put things at the bottom is it's like a parking lot because it's underneath the main image and they have no effect. If I want to move things just in and out here, if I grab this one here and I move it up here until I see a line. So there's a horizontal line there, that little horizontal blue line. So I move the magenta there and it goes between the green and the blue. If I drag this one up here, just so you can see the lines appearing. So I can actually move things around by just looking for those green lines. There's no green line here appearing here, sorry, blue line appearing here because it's, between, it's not going to move the blue there because it would just put it below the magenta there. So I want to get it above the magenta. I've got to go above until I see that line there. If I want to put these as being children of this, uh, the one here, 
And just for that, let's just, just to make sure we're not doing anything, I've got the red selected, then shift click the blue, it select all of it, then control G or arrange group, breaks those down into group. And let's call that underground parking. And I'll often have a group like this right at the bottom in which I throw things temporarily uh, and when I'm finished I can delete them all. So let's just take one of these and you can see because it's a group you've got this vertical bar down here. If I drag that up to the background there, if I go over the image and then let go, it appears here and you can see there's a grey bar underneath it. So it's a kind of, I just think of that as being above the line. And if I take the green and I drag that up to over the name, that's going to appear below that line. So it's red and green here. It's still processed from the bottom upwards. So I can drag the magenta up over there and the, the over the icon. And that's going to appear above the red. So it now goes to magenta. And the blue I can drag to being over the name, or if I actually drag it over to the left, the same thing will happen. It's now going to appear above the green down here, because over here or over the name, in other words, not over the icon, it's going to go below the grey line, but at the highest level of that. Then I can move things here. If I want to take, say, the green, if I drag this up to here, Notice I've got two effects here. The green, I can have a narrow blue blue line or a broader blue line. If I go to the narrow blue line, it goes above the blue, the blue and it stays below the line. And if I drag the blue now up so I get the that broader line, then it's gone above the line there. You can get some things a little bit tricky. So if I click on the magenta here, so this is selected and it's also shown the background up here. Then if I drag something up here to try and get between the two, I've got three lots of blue going here. So it's a bit tricky, but you can see it. So I drop that in there and that, there it is. I can also see, put stack this up. So I take the green from down here and drag that on top of the magenta icon and it puts it in as a child. So now we've got magenta with green as a child, it's not going to do anything with that because it doesn't make sense. And by and large, if it doesn't make sense to recolor, recolor, then it will just ignore it and not use it. So if I take off the blue there, then the magenta's on top. I just get magenta. It's not affected by this green here underneath. So there we go. There's a number of different things about dragging around the place. It is actually a lot easier once you get used to it and you just look for the thin blue lines, the thicker blue lines, it's easy to drag above, go all the way to the top there and draw all the way down to the bottom. Or I can drag things into here. Notice the green came with the magenta because it's a child of that magenta, so it's attached to it. So I could take the green, drag that into the underground parking and it's gone into that. Drag in the magenta in that. I could actually, what if I drag the red onto the magenta, so the underground parking name, then it's going to go below a line within this group. So we got a kind of above the line and below the line. Above the line you drag to the icon. Normally I would drag most of the time to the icon. Below the line is when you're doing its difference between clipping and masking, which I'm going to do in the next video. Anyway, that's it, which just basically shows you how easy to move things around and you can even do it using the keys. Thank you very much for watching.